ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Well, Knife, we're halfway there. Thought you told the Marshal I'd never get you to Abilene. You still got halfway to go. It's lucky for you we have no judge in Petersville. You'd be tried and convicted by now. Figure that's what's gonna happen to me when I get to Abilene? Why don't you give up, lawman? The Marshal's already lost three of his best deputies in this run. Figure you're gonna have any better luck? I'm sure of it. Because wherever you go, I go. I left the keys behind. The other three deputies were handcuffed to their prisoners, too. Say, whatever happened to them lawmen? I wish I knew, Knife, because if I did, I might be taking you to Abilene to stand trial for murder instead of just robbery. Okay, boss. I got him. Rex Craig. You, an outlaw. That's right, Parker. And a good one. How's the driver, Beetle? Don't worry, he ain't dead, boss. Just out cold. Good. Hide our horses in the usual place. Knife and I can take care of this, hombre. Hurry up. Get him out of there. Stagecoach, Toto. The driver not stopped there unless there be trouble. Come on. Just a scalp wound, Tonto. He should be all right after he comes to. Coach empty. Everything seems to be all right up there. Whoever did this must have been after the passengers. You think another deputy? Yes, I do, Tonto. Knife Norton was due in Abilene tomorrow for trial. This coach would have brought him in just on time. Tracks here. Maybe three, four men. Mark of heavyweight dragged from coach. Maybe body. We'd better follow the footprints. We'll leave Silver and Scout here and go ahead on foot. Come on. No use, Kimasabi. We lose tracks way back. Tonto, look. Cabin look deserted. Not like the outlaws come here. There's only one way to find out. You stay here and keep me covered. If there's any trouble, come in fast. Uh, maybe ready, Kimisabe. Come in. Howdy, stranger. Make yourself to home. Thank you. Folks call me Uncle Taffy. <laughs> See, I'm a bit touched in the head. Reckon as to how I am, maybe. That's a right well-fitting mask you're wearing. It seems to frighten most people. Doesn't it bother you? <laughs> when a man gets to be my age, takes more than a mask to scare him. <laughs> if you're here to do me hurt, you'll do it, mask or no mask. If you're here peaceable, well, Ain't none of my business why you're wearing a mask. I'm here, Peaceable. Draw up a chair and sit. I'm looking for some information. Ain't got much of that. Glad to give you what I got. You live here alone? Sure do, mister. Ain't budged off of this land for 20 years, ever since I bought it to dig for gold. <laughs> Twerk no gold, though. I see. You're a miner, then. There used to be, not no more. You ever have visitors? Sure do. <laughs> Having one right now. <laughs> no, I, I mean others. Talk clear, young fella. Such as what? Well, the stagecoach was held up about a mile from here. I think its passengers are being hidden nearby. You don't say. Shouldn't be hard to find. There ain't many places around here for a man to hide. I know that. That's what I can't understand. How can three deputies in a row disappear right off the face of the earth? And now maybe a fourth. I take it you're a lawman yourself. Sometimes. You better be on your guard in case those outlaws show up. 
<laughs> I ain't so old I can't handle a gun against them varmints. I hope you're right. Hey, share yourself, young fella. Adios. What you find out, Kimasabe? Nothing, Tonham. Just a quaint old man who wouldn't hurt a fly. We'll ride into town and see what we can find out. Let's go. Come up now, boys. He's gone. Doing. Not so good. I just like them again to keep them quiet. Come on, Uncle Tad, get out your file and go to work on these cuffs. You're sick of being chained to this dead weight. Hold your horses, knife. It's a lucky thing you spotted that mask hombre headed this way, Uncle Taffy. He might have caught us red-handed. You should let me plug him, boss, before he ever got inside. You're a fool, knife. How do we know there weren't others with him? This way he leaves without suspecting anything. <laughs> That's right. Thinks I'm just a simple-minded old-timer. Wouldn't have no truck with outlaws. <laughs> Hurry up, Uncle Taffy's coming, too. There you are. What is this place? <laughs> you hear that, boys? He wants to know what this place is. Well, I'll tell you, son, it's a trap. A death trap. <laughs> what are you going to do to me? The same thing we did to those other three deputies. <laughs> you see? So that's where you got rid of them. Makes a real fine death trap, don't you think? Dark and deep. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I don't get it, Craig. You of all people. What have you got against law and order? Law and order means two bosses in town. The marshal and me. There's only room enough for one of us. You'll never get rid of him that way. Won't it? Just give me time. Come on, knife. He's lived long enough. Any last messages, Parker? Too bad I can't ever tell your kid where you're fit. <laughs> yeah. I just heard about Joe Parker, Marshal. Is he still missing? Same as the others. Anything I can do to help? I don't need a lawyer, Rex. I need a new deputy. <laughs> Afraid I'm not that brave, Marshal. Can't blame you. There isn't a man in town willing to take Parker's place. Well, if you need me, you know where my office is. Thanks, Rex. Sad about Marshall. You didn't get hurt. Jimmy, what are you doing to that gun? I'm going to give you the same medicine my father got. You gone crazy, kid? Don't move. Jimmy, I didn't do anything to your father. No, you just sent him out to be killed, that's all. We have no proof that he's dead. We don't need proof. He's gone like all the others, isn't he? The finest man in the whole town. He didn't have to take the job, but you made him. Jimmy, your father volunteered to be one of my deputies. He was just as anxious to bring law and order to this town as I. Law and order. All you've brought is trouble and killing. I'm not to blame for that. The outlaws are. I don't know who's to blame. I only know I'm not going to let it happen again. It was better without law and order. And I'm getting rid of you right now. Hey, let me go. Thanks, mister, for coming in when you did. Fine, Marshal, you are saying thanks to a masked outlaw. He can't be an outlaw. Outlaws don't waste their time saving the lives of marshals. Still, I'm curious about that mask. I have reasons for keeping my identity a secret, Marshal. You're quite a fighter, young man. You'll have to excuse him, mister. He's kind of wrought up. His father was one of my deputies, disappeared this morning. Now take it easy, Jimmy. I'm sorry, Marshal. I guess killing you wouldn't bring my dad back. Was his father the man who was taking Knight Morton back to Abilene? Yes, my fourth deputy. When this trouble start? The day I took over, Injun. This was here when I opened this place three months ago. If you know what's good for you, you will go back where you came from. If you don't, we'll drive you back. We're the law and order in this town. And it's unsigned. 
But if they want to get rid of you, why don't they kill you? That's the funny part of it. They don't kill anybody. That is, that I can prove. What about your four deputies? Where are the bodies? You've got to have a corpse to have a murder charge. You don't have any idea who's behind these crimes? Somebody that's so smart and slippery, I can't lay a finger on them. Do they try to rescue any criminal you send to Abilene with a deputy? So far, they have. You have idea, Kimasabi? Yes, Tato. That is, if the marshal can find a new deputy. Not a chance. After what's just happened, there isn't a man in this town that's got nerve enough to take on the job. There's one, Marshal. Oh, Jimmy, you're too young. I'm old enough to ride a horse and fire a gun. If you won't let me be your deputy, I'll go after those outlaws alone. What do you think? If he wants to go on a manhunt, why not let him help us? Thanks, mister. Now look, Jim, this isn't going to be any picnic. If my plan works, your life will be in great danger. Whatever happened to those other four deputies might happen to you. My father died to bring law and order to this town. His death won't mean much if I don't follow through for him. Good boy, Jim. Now, Marshal, here's my plan. Put up hand. What is this? Let me take the money. On your feet, Injun. Trying to hold me up, huh? What happened, Marshal? Who's the Injun? Saw me coming out of the bank, tried to hold me up. Why, that no good Indian. We ought to string him yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right, Pete. Oh, no, you don't. I'm here to keep the law, not to break it. He'll be sent to Abilene for trial. Who's going to take him, Marshal? I thought you'd run clean out of deputies. Well, not quite, Rex. I got a new one this morning. Who are you, Indian? Me not tell. I have it your own way. Reckon a, a lawyer wouldn't help him much anyway. What with you catching him red hand? Oh, he's entitled to legal advice, Rex. Better drop around later and see him. Whatever you say, Marshal. Come on, Indian, get going. I've got a nice warm cell for you. Thanks, Mr. Where's the marshal? Him go out for lunch. Uh huh? Well, might as well talk to you now, anyway. Who are you? I'm a lawyer. If you want advice, I can give it to you. You may not need advice. I think you do. It was a pretty stupid stunt today, trying to hold up the marshal. You may not see him badge. You work alone or with a gang? That's my business. Look, Indian, I'm going to do some straight talking. But if you repeat a word of it to the marshal or anyone else, I'll call you a liar and swear I didn't say it. And they believe me, not you. Me not understand. It's like this. We've got no judge in this town. So you'd be taken to Abilene for trial. If you're lucky, you may get off with 20 years. Well, that plenty long time. You should have thought of that before you held up the marshal. Uh, maybe there are other way out. You're smart, Indian. There is a way, an uh, expensive way. What do you mean? If you never get to Abilene, then you can't be tried, can you? And that's a plenty good plan. You have a way it can work? I have. But it costs money. How much? A thousand dollars. That's a plenty big sum. Mm -hmm. Well, how about if you got any friends around here who can raise the money for you? Uh, there one maybe can help. Good. Tell me where he is and I'll get word to him. No, him no. We need help. He'd better. Because if that money isn't in my office by tonight, you'll be in Abilene by tomorrow. Money be there. I wouldn't go for that gun. This is a holdup, mister. I keep my money in the bank, not here. It's no holdup. I'm here on business. I don't usually do business with masked men. If it's legal services you need, What's that for? A fee for your legal services. I understand you can arrange for a certain Indian friend of mine not to reach Abilene tomorrow. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't take bribes. I must have misunderstood. Just a minute. Like I said, I'm strictly legal. If you want to hire me to be your friend's lawyer and get him off as lightly as possible, I reckon I could accept that money as a retainer in advance. A retainer, then? Do you guarantee to get my friend off lightly? I'm a respectable lawyer, mister. You don't think I take your money under false pretenses. Just uh, how and when do you intend to do this? That's my business. You pay the fee, I'll be the lawyer. Whatever you say. Knife. Yeah, boss? You know who that was just left? Boy, well, sounded mighty familiar to the door. It should. He was a masked man in Uncle Taffy's cabin. Him? What do you want with you? I wanted to pay me $1,000 to keep that Indian from reaching Abilene. Oh, I don't get it. I do. A neat little put-up job, the whole thing. A masked man and Indian are in cahoots with the marshal. You mean they know about Uncle Taffy's cabin? No, but they're trying awfully hard to find out. That means they're expecting us to hold up the stage tomorrow. 
We can't do it. Can't we? It's a clever little trap they've set. Only one thing wrong. They're the ones who are going to get caught in it. In your place, I've got a hold up now. You will not lose head when outlaws strike. Don't worry, Tonto. You give the orders. I'll take them. Sage should be by here any minute, Marshal. Well, I hope Jimmy plays his part well. Oh, you can count on the kid, all right. Is this where they held stage up last time? Just about. They may not strike in the same place twice. Get a cup. Sounds like it's down the road about a mile, I'd say. I think you're right, Marshal. Come on. Exactly the same as last time, Marshal. Driver unconscious, but not dead. I only hope we can catch them before anything happens to Tonto and Jimmy. It's a funny thing, but these tracks lead directly north. But there's nothing there except Uncle Taffy's cabin. Uncle Taffy? Maybe he isn't such a lovable character after all. Come on, Marshal. <laughs> You keep promise plenty good. Me go free now? No, Indian, you don't go free. As soon as your masked friend gets here, you and he are going to get the same medicine as the kid. Tonto, he knows. That's right, Junior. I know. You got it straight what you're to do now? I never make mistakes, but are you sure the masked man's coming? Positive. Either alone or with a marshal. They lost our tracks, but I made certain they knew which direction to take. What about them two? We'll keep them hidden back at the cabin. <laughs> Neatest trick I ever heard of. This masked man is smart, Uncle Taffy. He may not disappear as easily as the others. Leave him to me. I can handle him. Now get outside, all of you. Harmless enough. Maybe, Marshal. But I'll go in there alone. If it is a trap, there should be one of us left alive to bring back a posse. Well, if you're not out in a few minutes, I'll sneak around the back and see what I can find out. Right. Come right on in. The door is open. How did you know I was out there? <laughs> Reckon that you might say I got eyes in the back of my head. What can I do for you this time? You can tell me what's become of my Indian friend and the deputy. How would I know? The coach was held up less than a mile away. Just like the last time. The tracks led in this direction, just like the last time. Got no idea what you're talking about. You're shielding outlaws. That's a crime in itself. You'd better give them up. If you think so bad of me, young man, why don't you take me into town and turn me over to the marshal? I intend to. But first, I'm taking a look around. Go right ahead. I'm going to tie you up so you can't give any alarm. Don't mind a bit. Come on ahead. They'll take care of you, mister. Come on in, boys. He's joined the others. You sure he's dead? Ain't no doubt about it. I heard him hit bottom. Then get the handcuffs off these two. We can't drop them down the shaft together. <laughs> Three of them in one day. I ain't done such good business in years. <laughs> That does it, boss. Yeah. Drop the Indian in first, then the kid. Let him go! Let him go! 
When are you sending those two to Abilene, Marshal? As soon as my deputies get here with Beetle. I've got a whole slew of volunteers now that we've rounded up the top men. That's fine. And you'll never find better deputy than Jimmy. Don't you worry, Tonto. I aim to make him a permanent fixture here if he'll stay. I sure will, Marshal. Well, you won't need us anymore. Tana will be moving. Good luck, Jim. Marshal. Thanks, mister. That masked man sure came through when we needed him most. He usually does, son. Do you know who he is? That's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! Hello! 